Linda Israel here. The scent of the day is spiced coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, this is a wonderful scent. It permeates the room and just smells wonderful. This is a soy wax melt and it is from JIC. It's an item you can get through my shop. Just click the link below. They have jewelry involved. You can get candles and tarts like this ring. That's one of the items that I got out of one of the candle or tarts. Again, that's available in my shop and that helps me out as an artist. Today I want to share with you the Spring Elegance Digital Collage Sheet and a Brutus Monroe Roses background. I have the Happy Planner and I have one of the page protector pockets that I want to decorate and put some pieces in so that I can pretty up my planner. I'm going to take my Brutus Monroe Roses background stamp. This is one of the sleeves that you can get from Brutus Monroe. It's a great storage sleeve. You can get the description in the link for the blog post. So I've got my Brutus Monroe stamp here. I'm going to use my Misty. And I'm going to place my stamp in here. I'm going to position it over my pre-cut piece of paper. I just went ahead and measured what the dimensions were for my Happy Planner page. And I'm going to line up this stamp all the way to the edge and then pick it up with my Misty and then stamp this. So I'm going to use the Brutus Monroe black detail ink. Stamp it again. So what I like about the Misty, if I don't get a good impression, I can stamp it again. There's my image. I'm going to stamp two of these, so I'm just going to swap out where that one was and put another one in, like so. I'll clean my stamp. I'll be right back. I've got my spray box out, and I have some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in vintage pink. I'm just going to spray a few spritz on here to add some glimmer to this paper. Remember to shake your glimmer mist side to side, never up and down. I'm going to dry this with my heat tool and I'll be right back. I've got my Brutus Monroe Detail Ink and I'm going to go around the edge of both of these pieces. I've cut out two images from the collage sheet, one with little birds and another one's a little wreath. I'm going to take the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink and go around the edges of those as well. This finishes off that white edge so you don't see where I cut the paper. I've got some Aline's Tacky Glue and I'm going to use that to glue down my images. I die cut a little butterfly. This is the butterfly die. It's one that I got off of eBay. I'll have the link in the description. This is with Renea paper foil. So it's an embossed foil. And I've got my little Xyron sticker maker. I'm going to just pop that in there. I've also got a couple of words that I made up. One of them I printed on my computer and then used a punch. The other one is a stamp. I have these in a little box that I made and I make up a whole bunch at a time and then just put them in here so that when I need little words like this I just pick up the box and pick out what I want. 
kind of a handy tool to have them on hand. I'm going to use the Detail Ink, or excuse me, the Distressed Ink Picked Raspberry from Tim Holtz. I'm going to give this an edge. I'm going to do the same with the Sing. Then I'm going to use my blending tool to give this a little bit more color all the way around the image. It softens that white. I'm going to pop these also into my sticker maker. Make the most of it. down inside there and then just pull the little tab and they start to come out the back side do the next one so that's down inside there and then pull out the other side tear it and then rub it and then remove the plastic topper Doing this removes any of the excess glue that didn't get stuck to the paper. Now I have little stickers. I have a little scrap of Renea foil that just was left over and I decided that I want to make that to be a little added embellishment so I'm cutting it with my corner rounder at a quarter of an inch on each corner. I've got a little bit of Aline's Tacky Glue again, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this and spread it around with my finger. And pick up the little word Sing and place that on top of the Renea foil. Hopefully I'll do it straight. Then I will pick up this butterfly and put it on the other one. So there are two cards that I made. Here are two others that I made before I started the video. Place these in my pockets. And this will go into my happy planner. So will be pretty things that I can look at and enjoy when I'm looking at my appointments and whatnot. I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to fill this little pocket for your happy planner. This happy planner pocket set is really designed for the smaller one. It has 12 sheets. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. I used my 40% off, I'm pretty sure. I've had it for a while. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed that. Please like this video. Share it with your friends. Comment below if you have any questions or how you like to fill your little pockets to put into your happy planner. If you have questions about the items that I use, comment below. To get to the items that I use, check out the blog link. And, of course, there's other links below that. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook because there are some things that I share there that don't make it to, face, or excuse me, to YouTube. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a fabulous day. Bye.